Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a reading for mid-February 2023 looking at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future. As you can see, I've already got, gone ahead and pulled the oracle cards and clarified those. I have the overall energy for the reading. I'll dive into Tarot and then I have the decks I'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. All right, Pisces. Um... I saw kind of a cool message in the artwork here that I think I'm going to talk about, but I'm not sure. I want to dive into the messages first because in your recent past, you have expect powerful change with the five of coins. So you have experienced, and I feel like this might not even be in your recent past, just, just your recent past, Pisces. You experienced a lot of loss, a lot of loss, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of frustration, a lot of lack, a lot of, of kind of feeling left out in the cold. Honestly, a little bit like this image. Um, and I feel like that's been a very difficult, it's, it's, you've, been, you've, you've learned a lot, but it's been a, a lot of very difficult life lessons that you've had to learn. Um, but I also feel like this is preparing you to become, you know, a friend once told me, and it's kind of the, what, the advice that I live my life and, and honestly run my channel by is that we are more equip equipped to help the people that we once were. So my intention is to help the people who feel a little lost on their path or are looking for some guidance, you know, coming from a perspective of where I once used to be. And in your immediate future, I'll go to your current energy in a second. You have show the world the real you with the six of pinnacles here. And if you look at this artwork, it's almost like you go from being the people to that need help to helping the people that need help. From being the, the person that needs help to helping, like this is you right here, this this guy, in, this, in your immediate future. And so it's almost like this is a transition from, it's like that, that whole, your experience will eventually become someone else's survival guide. That's almost what I feel in your immediate future. Now in your current energy, you have luck is on your side with the aid of, of swords here. So you're kind of trapped. You're getting a little trapped in your mind. I feel like you're getting a little bit too much in your head right now, Pisces. And of course, right? I mean, we all do it. But the universe is saying, hey, luck is on your side. You're not this anymore. You're transforming into this. But it's not easy to see that because things feel, I feel like things feel very up in the air. But the overall energy for this reading is protection and divine feminine. And so what I see here now, whether you're male or female, this is talking about, because we all have divine feminine, divine masculine energies. This is talking about your divine feminine energy. Your divine feminine energy has been protected from what didn't deserve you. To you, it's felt like a loss. But the universe is saying, actually, you deserve better. And that's why you were protected from something here. I don't know. This is a pretty cool message. I'm, I'm going to dive into tarot, but I feel like that protection energy is coming through a lot. Like, like really having the faith that the universe is providing you with, you know, you haven't lost what's meant for you, even if it feels like that. But let's see. Reset pass for Pisces clarifying expect powerful change. You know, I don't usually look at the imagery of the cards often. I want to start. I feel like I should start doing it more because that's a pretty cool message that came through. Okay. Recent past for Pisces clarifying, expect powerful change. Let's look at your past. What is Pisces dealing with in their past, in their recent past? Recent past for Pisces, please. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Knight of Swords. I actually want to get more on that message. Pisces recent past, please. This is about this is about getting out of survival mode. Recent past for Pisces clarifying the Knight of Swords, and then you have the Knight of Wands. Because the Knight of Swords to me is in this in this energy in particular, kind of grasping at anything and everything that you can to make you feel less alone, less afraid, 
less like this, less out in the cold. But then you have this expect powerful change. So the other way that I'm viewing this is that what you've lost and the pain that you've experienced through that loss is being transmuted into healing for yourself and for others. Now, you might be sitting here saying, I can't believe I had to go through that just to learn a lesson. It's not that you had to necessarily. Remember, your soul signed a contract before it came to this earth. It knew what it was going to experience and it knew what it was going through. It happened for a bigger purpose. And this is almost like preparing you for a greater purpose. Some sort of loss is preparing you for a greater purpose or prepared you for a greater purpose. But you don't feel like that <laughs> right now. You kind of just feel like, man, that sucked. Or it sucks if you're currently going through it. Recent pass for Pisces. Clarifying expect powerful change with the five of coins. The Five of Cups, yeah. So there was some major disappointment. Some major emotional letdown. That you are sick and tired of experiencing. I feel like you've experienced this a few times over, Pisces. This, this feeling of loss, of separation, of lack. I want more. I want more on this Knight of Swords. This Knight of Swords is kind of sticking out to me here. What is this Knight of Swords saying about Pisces? Recent past. What's this Knight of Swords saying about Pisces? Recent past. There's, yeah, okay, so it's exactly what I was saying. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. Preparing you for an opportunity. Preparing you for something greater. Okay, okay, yeah. I don't know why. It's almost like <laughs> I kind of feel like what else is coming through is like becoming your own knight in shining armor. Going from feeling like you, you know, I kind of had a little bit of a breakthrough that's coming through in this reading that it, it stemmed from me realizing like I'm the hero of my own life. I'm the only one who can save me. No one else can save me. But then you realize, I don't really need saving. You don't really need saving. You know, you need healing. You can, you, can, you can heal yourself, but you don't need saving. You don't need someone to rescue you. There's nothing to rescue you from. And you realize that once you've kind of healed. And I feel like this is kind of what that is, like becoming your own knight in shining armor. Reset pass for Pisces. Because this energy in your immediate future, it feels powerful. Recent pass for Pisces. This feels, not that you are weak, but this feels like you were kind of kicked while you were down kind of energy. It feels like just lonely and lost and frustrated. And this is all helping transmute it's like you're transmuting this loss into power recent past for pisces which is interesting because the other card i think it was on the bottom of the deck or it popped out i don't remember was power but i only take two for the overall energy okay recent past for pisces i'll stop talking and keep pulling this the High Priestess. This is transforming you into this High Priestess energy, this like master, this world card. This is the second time I've seen this world card on the back of the deck. This is like the end of this lost cycle. Transforming you into this high priestess here. I want to get clarity on this high priestess. I'm getting a little nosy about your recent past because it feels kind of the Queen of Cups. Okay, it's just you. <laughs> you were the high priestess. 
you're becoming this high priestess and releasing this kind of devil energy here. Oh my God. And then you have the world card again on the back of the deck. Okay, what is this world card? No, okay, I'm not, I'm not supposed to clarify that yet. I heard don't. <laughs> Very. High Priestess in Pisces recent past. This is you becoming the High Priestess. Oh, aligning with your higher self. That's why this energy over here, it feels so much higher, like way higher vibration. Current energy for Pisces. Current energy for Pisces, please. And remember, recent past can be anywhere from like the last few weeks to the last few years. It's going to cycles happen differently for everyone current energy for pisces clarifying luck is on your side with the eight of swords well there you are the queen of cups with the queen of wands pisces you are completely mastering yourself here and look at that yeah because there's the six of pentacles which is interesting because it just fell on the high priestess and then this six of pentacles right here, show the world the real you, which starts to, it's like you, your higher self. This is all, this was all predetermined. Because this is self-mastery to me. This queen of cups and queen of wands. Now you're still kind of stuck in this eight of swords energy, this lacking belief in yourself and in the universe and that's of course understandable after you've kind of been through this energy this is a a really cool reading i'm going to take this queen of wands self mastery current energy for pisces Luck is on your side with the Eight of Swords. Current energy for Pisces. The Fool. There's a new beginning that's hidden from you. And it is a good one. The Wheel of Fortune, but the Devil is showing on. There's the Lovers. There's a new beginning. That's why this Luck is on your side card is happening. Is the universe is saying, you don't know what's in store for you. You've been protected from what didn't serve you. You, The universe has literally, like, removed in pretty aggressive ways, I feel like, people and things from your life that did not serve you and that did not deserve you and that possibly did you very wrong. And as you're healing from that loss... You're mastering yourself. You're mastering your emotions. You're mastering your actions. Meaning you're no longer reacting, but learning to respond. Current energy for Pisces. Because there's a new beginning. And it, it's this, it's like almost like a, it's, that isn't, it feels, it doesn't even feel like a rebirth. It feels like a complete and total I want to not talk about messages when I pull. You had the tower with the queen of pentacles, but I want to clarifying, this is Pisces current energy. Clarifying luck is on your side with the eight of swords. This is for Pisces current energy. Pisces current energy. Okay. You have the moon sticking out here. The temperance. But then you have 
the Empress with the Eight of Swords in reverse, and then you have this Ten of Pentacles. So this Eight of Swords here gets flipped on its head. Same Eight of Swords is right here. I said I didn't want to talk because sometimes I feel like when I'm speaking about a, a message that has come through, that the cards I pull are going to align with that message instead of the message that's trying to come through, that needs to come through. And so that's why I wanted to make sure. Because this is about you. I mean, this is not just stepping into your power, Pisces. This is like a complete and total transformation of self. That's why you have show the world the real you. Because you go from being the person who needs help to someone who is capable and strong enough to help others. You're showing up as the empress here. So you are now showing up as the empress and the high priestess. I don't care if you're male or female. This, this is powerful energy. So this is what, it's like, this is, this is about progression of getting closer and closer to your most authentic, highest version of you. Wow. And then, yeah, you have that Ten of Pentacles. Huh. All right, immediate future, because, wow. High Priestess, Fool, Empress. You're the Fool and the Empress in your current energy. Immediate future for Pisces. Immediate future for Pisces, please. And it's going to take time. Like, it's not like this is going to happen overnight, and it hasn't happened overnight. But oh, my God. This is over here. This is in reverse. Okay, they, they were all upside down. Pisces, you're stepping in. You have the higher foot reverse, the knight of wands in reverse, the seven of wands in the chariot. You're stepping into a completely new version of you. Like, you know, when I, Phoenix rising from the ashes is like, I feel like you you have this like death of self and then you rise stronger than you were before. Like, yes, that's happening, but it's almost like it's not in. Yes, you've obviously undergo transformation through death and rebirth, but it's almost like the old version of you is like dead and gone. You are now you are now having a rebirth. of like a completely different version of you. And it is a version of you that does not take SHIT from anyone. It's a powerful version of you. Now that doesn't mean that you are selfish. It doesn't mean you're egotistical. You still are this giving, loving person, but at the same time, you it's almost like you you step into this energy of, of no longer allowing people to overstep your boundaries, no longer giving away energy to things that don't serve you, no longer saying yes when you don't feel like you want to. Meaning like, you know, people pleasing, right? Like I feel like that's something you've kind of dealt with. Just know that whatever you've lost, you were seriously protected from. Immediate future for Pisces. A whole new you, Pisces. Immediate future for Pisces. And it's, it, it's like, it's not because it's you. It, you have the real you. It's like, the death of the version of you that didn't align with your highest self, that didn't align with your most authentic self, that aligned with people pleasing, with giving energy away. I'm talking again. I want to clarify this message for Pisces in the future. 
the justice. When you step into this version of you, and again, I feel like it's going to take time. This is a progression. This isn't, when I talk about immediate future, I mean that can take time, right? It's not like this is going to happen tomorrow. It could for some of you. But when you step into this version of yourself, you're going to start realizing that you will be an attractor, a magnet for everything that you've been wanting, everything that ultimately serves you, that aligns with you. Because since you've been in this energy, right, it was a lower, a lower vibration of you. And therefore, you were attracting lower vibrational things, lower vibrational people, careers, jobs, finances. And this transformation of self, it's almost like this death of this, of this version of you and rebirth of this version of you. Again, it feels like two completely different energies. Like, it's kind of crazy. It feels like it's like, I don't know. Yeah, completely different energies. And it's through the self-mastery. It starts to very quickly, the Eight of Wands, attract what you deserve. There's a temperance. So it is going to take time. So this is almost like confirmation that you're on the right path to keep going. Because it's, this is a pretty freaking beautiful thing. With the Justice card, it's like you're going to start to receive what it is, not just that aligns with you, Pisces, but what you deserve. Immediate future for Pisces. Immediate future for Pisces, please. There's the death, death and ace of cups. And you know what's sticking out to me? For some reason, these visuals, because it's like, if you look at this, it's like the death of this version of you. This person who was sad and, like I said, lost and lonely. And if you look at this Ace of Cups, for some reason what's coming up for me is this. This phoenix. And also these blooming flowers. It's like this... I mean, rebirth. That honestly doesn't even feel like this is doing this justice. One more. This ending that you've experienced, this possibly multiple, they've been hard and they've been tough and emotional and painful, but they've happened so that this could happen, so that this transformation could take place. Immediate future for Pisces. Immediate future for Pisces. The Ten of Cups. Look at that. You have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. This Ten of Swords that you've experienced, it's leading you to your Ten of Cups. This pain that you've gone through, this energy, because this is, this feels past. In your future, it actually feels like it's it's in reverse. It's it's more healing from it. And then you have this Ten of Cups. Okay, there's also this energy of, of be very careful about unrealistic expectations. And what I mean is the details of it. You know, this rebirth is gonna happen, but it's gonna happen over time, and it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of inner work. And there's that need to make sure that you are still focused on the inner work. Right? This isn't just like, oh, it's going to appear at your doorstep tomorrow. It's kind of a little bit of a warning I'm feeling here.
I like this reading for you guys a lot. This is, and it, you know, it doesn't mean you're not going to still hit bumps in the road. It doesn't mean that life isn't still going to throw you curveballs or anything like that. It just means that you're stepping into this version of you that can handle it without fear, without allowing it to take you down, right? Um, yeah, no, this is cool energy. You've been protected from energy that you don't need. So if, you, if you're looking back to your past and saying, I wish I could have that back, no, you don't. This is so much better. This energy is so much better than this. So allow this transformation to take place. All right, Pisces, I'm going to hop on over to the extended. I'm going to clarify these messages, pull some advice cards from Spirit, and then pull or, or with some advice, pull the messages with advice from Spirit, and then pull an actual advice card from Spirit at the end. Um, thank you guys so much, as always, for the support of my channel. It means the absolute world to me. I wish you guys absolutely nothing but love and healing on your journeys, and I do hope to see you back in future readings. Okay, bye, Pisces.